Hello children, in this video we will continue with operation on rational numbers, practice set 24. Write the following rational numbers in decimal form. Now we have to form, write the rational numbers in the decimal form. It is very simple, we have to do simple division with a little change. Now we have to find it in the decimal form. So what we are going to do is, this is 13 upon 4. So we have mentioned 4 as a divisor and 13 as a dividend. So what we are going to put here is put a decimal and put two zeros after the decimal. So the numerator comes inside and the denominator is outside like we do in the normal division. So now what we are going to do is divide it by 4. 4, 3 is a 12 minus sign. What comes here? 1. Now the next number what we are going to do is put the decimal sign above and bring the 0 down. So we are going to bring the 0 down and write here make it 10. Now 4 to the 8. If we subtract what remains? 2. Now no need of we have already put the decimal sign so we don't have to do anything just bring the second 0 down like we do in the normal division. This is 24 fives are 20 and the remainder is 0. So, our answer will be 13 upon 4 is equal to, this is our answer, 3.25. Sum number 2 minus 7 upon 8. So let's write it in the division form. 8 will come outside and 7 will go. We have not taken the minus sign here. We will write it in the answer directly. 7.00. Now, if you can see, this 7 will not go in a times table definitely because the 7 is smaller than 8. So, what we will write here, 7, uh, sorry, 8 zeros are 0 and we get 7 down. Now, we can put this decimal sign on top and bring the 0 down. This becomes 70, 8 8s are 64 minus sign. 70 minus 64 will be 6. Again, we can bring this 0 down now. 60. 8 7s are 56 minus 60 minus 56 will give me answer 4. Here, that we can add after decimal we can add how many zeros we want so i'll add another zero and bring that down then eight fives are 40 so my answer will be 0 0.875 sorry 875 so i will write in the answer answer it was minus 7 upon 8 will be equal to don't forget to put the minus sign you will write minus 0 0.875 ok moving to the next sum this sum is 7 3 upon 5 so what we are going to do is multiply and plus 5 7 za 35 plus 3, 35, 36, 37, 
38. So my answer will be 38 upon 5. Now we will do the division. Now we will do the division. 5. 7 are 35. So I will write here 5. 7 are 35. Subtract. What will remain? 3. Put the point up. Bring the 0 down. 5, 6 30 and we got 0 in directly so we don't need to use the other 0. So the answer is 7.6. So I'll write the final answer. The final answer is 7, 3 upon 5 is nothing but 7.6. Sum number 4 is 5 upon 12. So we have written 12 here and 5.00. Let's solve it. Again 5 is smaller number than 12. So what we'll take is 0 here. 12 zeros are 0 minus I'll write 5. We will put up the decimal sign and bring the 0 down. This becomes 50. 12 fours are 48. If we subtract, we get 2. Let's bring the other 0 down. It becomes 20. 12 ones are 12. So what remains? 8. We can add as many zeros as we want. So I'll add one more zero here. 12, 6 are 72. Again, again I got 8. If I take more zero down, this will become 80 again. And again I will get your zero. So suppose if I write your 80. Again, 6 are 72. And my answer will keep repeating. So in such situation, when your last digits keep re repeating, you put a line on the number that is repeating. So only 6 is repeating here. So I put a line on 6. That means 6 is occurring again and again. So we call it recurring number. So the number 6 is recurring here. So my answer will be, Five upon twelve is equal to zero point four one six and six is recurring, so I put a line on six. Moving to the next sum. Sum number five is twenty two upon seven. Now seven three is a twenty one. Remaining is 1. We will put a decimal sign on top and bring the 0 down. 7 ones are 7. Remaining 3. Bring the 0 down. 7 fours are 28 minus remains 2. We can put another 0. As we want and we can write a 7 twos are 14 and remaining is 6 now boys we can extend it even more but we can stop after three decimals if we have found three decimals we will stop we will not find any more than three decimals so we will put the remainder as 6 and we will stop here So we will write answer 22 upon 7 is 
4 2 moving to the next sum the next sum is 4 upon 3 let's write it 3 will come here 4.00 3 ones are 3 remaining 1 we will write the decimal up bring the 0 down 3 3 is 9 again if you see remaining is 1 we will bring 0 down 3 3 is 9 and it will keep on repeating so the number 3 here is recurring therefore our answer will be Four upon three is equal to one point three, where three is recurring. You can write one point three three and put a line on top. That's also okay. You can write one point three 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 times also. It's okay. Or you can write it just once and put a line on top. That means three is recurring. The last sum of this exercise seven upon nine. 9 is written out and 7 is written inside. Again here 7 is smaller than 9. So what we will do is we will write a 0 here. 9 zeros are 0 minus. So the answer is 7. We will put a decimal sign here. Take the 0 down. This becomes 79. 7 is 63. If we subtract. We get the answer again 7 if we take the 0 down. Again as you can see here this is repeating. Even here also again the remainder keeps to be 7. It is reoccurring. So we will say it is recurring. I will put a line on top. Here showing that the 7 is repeating itself. So our answer will be. 7 upon 9 is equal to 0 0.7 where 7 is recurring. So with this we finish with practice set 24. Thank you.